So another way we can look at shoulder range of motion without thoracic compensation is by adding two lasers, one around the thorax and one around the shoulder. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the one on the thorax on and we're going to center it up in target. Okay? And then what we're going to do is bring the arm basically to where we want it. So let's say we're doing that kind of Y abduction position. We're trying to get a pure amount of extension here without Chris rotating his thorax to get the motion. So I'm going to bring this out to here. We're going to turn on the second laser and we can just center that up as well. And then come on back down. And what I'm going to cue him to do is keeping the laser in center, which he can see right now. And he's going to bring his arm up in the same position. All the way up. Good. And back down. And go ahead and do that a few times for me and try to keep the center laser still as you move that arm up. Good. Back down. Good. And then move your arm even a little further so you can project the laser beyond the center target. There. There you go. Good. Come back down. So it's going to monitor how much Chris is rotating through the thoracic. And that's a pretty cool additional cue for your patient. We can also do this going into horizontal abduction. So have him go out as far as he can without moving his trunk or his thorax. A lot of people have a difficult time with that.